Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius. This reading is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides. What's the love brief for Capricorn? Okay, Capricorn. Bottom card. You deserve love. Wedding. Hmm. I don't know what you are involved in. But it's going to result in a wedding. It could. It could result. I mean, you definitely deserve true love. True love. And I believe that's what we're talking about here. Tell me more for Capricorn. April. True love. Okay. True love. Tell me more. Thank you. Oh, summer. Some of you are already planning a wedding during the summer. Maybe, you know, you Capricorn started to realize that you deserve love, right? To elevate what you desire for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. You deserve love and that's what you want. As soon as you find what you want, you're going to let that arrow go. Could be a Sagittarius. They're the archer. You're the goat. But you definitely deserve somebody that is willing to add to you, support you, be there for you, and you're willing to do the same for. Yeah, this is what's a strong foundation. Four of Wands, marriage, celebration, security. Wow. Two cards of marriage. That's exactly what you deserve. Something this summer could lead you to the altar. You know, a lot of abundance is going around this year in general. So definitely by the summer... If things continue to grow, it will progress. And I think you're receptive to it. I think you're ready for it. I think, you know, it took some growth for you to overcome your fears and doubts and the current situation that you were in. Some of you physically lost a love and that there was a death. Others of you lost a love because you let it go, because you deserved more. This month is about letting go, the primary energy. And there are, is a lot of energy from multiple sources concerning the moon. Like today's energy is the waxing crescent moon in Aquarius. Well, Aquarius energy is about Release freedom, liberation. You know, they're a rebel. They do things unexpectedly. Just get up and go. Change. So that's what we're talking about. Like, you realize you deserve more. And therefore, there was a change. And that was because, you know, the lower energies were controlling you. Something was keeping you possibly from a marriage, from commitment. There could be a fear of tying the knot. There's something surrounding marriage. Fear is at the center of your reading. Hmm. 
fear is at the center of your reading. And it could be blocking you from getting the love that you deserve. Or somebody is blocked from giving you the love you deserve. No, this is your reading. I think it has to do with you. Because when you take a stand and, you know, you're, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah, of limitations, of being anxious all the time, of not being happy. You know, you need to be comfortable. You love your little comforts. You know that. Plus, you've been doing a lot of thinking about this marriage thing. Hmm. Maybe you were married before and the outlook, the outcome was dismal, <laughs> dim. It didn't work. It was divorce. So there's some apprehension. Hmm. One of you wants to get married. The other one is not really sure. Matter of fact, they think they want to be like Aquarius and break free. Wondering if you are a part of their journey or do they deserve more? Someone's asking their self this question when it comes to marriage. It is a big leap of faith committing your life to someone else. You set off in a new direction. That commitment is deep and heavy from day one. Somebody could be freeing them their self from a commitment of marriage because of negative thinking. Mm. I'll tell you one thing. This is Mercury retrograde from the 1st to the 25th. So things are not as they seem. You know, you may see, think that you can't go on with this person. You've had enough. You're done with this. Or you're not going to go all the way. You're not going to commit. Hmm. Some of you are tired of being with somebody who says they're going to commit, but it's an illusion. I mean, nothing ever happens. But they continue to do everything to keep you there by telling you, promising you the ultimate goal of marriage. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who's married and you deserve more. There's something that isn't clear here. That's why you feel uncomfortable. Mm. It, it clearly is. Whatever is not for you, this is the month to release it. Most of the energies from the moon and the universe, the planets, is telling you to release right now. Something's being disrupted. Something is going to break up. It is. It's going to be broken up because somebody deserves more. Also, you have something else in store for you. Uh, someone who's faded, something that's faded. You're being called to move to something else, move forward. There's something else. But in order to move forward, you have to let go of where you currently are if you're stuck. And when you are overthinking and you have fears and doubts, uncertainty, all of this energy, I feel that's Mercury retrograde. So you don't want to make any final decisions even communication is crazy right now. From the 1st to the 25th, most of the month. Yeah, it, you know, hmm. This month is not the month to communicate anything about your marriage, wanting to marry somebody. Everything is confusion. 
<laughs> you may see it one way this day and then by the end of the week it has changed. So this is not the time to finalize anything. Don't propose yet. Wait until next month. That's just what I'm feeling, you know, because you're uncertain. This is at the center of the reading. Something could have happened last summer concerning a commitment and somebody wants to get married and the other is scared to death. Um, <laughs> I, I'm feeling that because there's some unhealed energy, hurt. Confusion, doubt, maybe from the past. Maybe they, I'm feeling with all of this, they were married before. They were married before and they had a bad experience, a negative experience. I think that in order to go all the way with this person, you're going to need a strong foundation I'm just thinking, Capricorn, like you you need somebody who's your friend first that you really feel comfortable with. A lot of times we overlook that relationship, but that is a strong foundation. Someone that you have a friend with, someone who doesn't co-sign your stuff. You don't co-sign their stuff. Give it to them straight up, no chaser. Someone that you care about. How you give it to them, though. You care about the words you use. You care about the unit, the security of the family, holding it together. Male or female. Yeah, maybe the, the verbal commitment was made, but actually getting them to the altar could be a problem because of this. Meaning they're not healed. Mm. And, and they're going to have to heal to get over what's causing them to be anxious about this wedding, this family. Because some of them are anxious because of the past, but they really want you. They really, they want to let go of this fear. I feel that. Maybe you guys started talking about this seriously last summer, and that's when that fear started to grow. The more you talked about it, the more they pulled away. <laughs> or just yes you, you know, yes, honey, <laughs> yes, honey. But nothing ever got done, but yes, honey, right? And that's because there's still some healing. There's still something very confusing in their life when it comes to marriage there's they want to escape mm. they know their marriage is no panacea <laughs> somebody is not caught up with the fantasy of getting married and you know a lot of people are just caught up with the wedding that's not what marriage is about mm-mm That's just the fantasy. And once that fantasy wears off and you have to deal with that person day in, day out, you want to make sure you're aligned. You want to make sure you're with the right person, the one that's going the direction that you're going. You know, th things are new for you. Definitely uh, this new moon on the 8th, I feel like you're embracing change i do there's an evolution and that's that aquarius energy too the need to be free so you need a delicate balance someone who allows you to be yourself but that you want to be committed to mm. you know now that i think of it i want that too we all want that so you want to find somebody that's on the same path as you, going the same way as you. And you're ready for a karmic reward. You've had enough challenges. But in order to go north, you've got to release this fear, this doubt, 
And it concerns marriage. Somebody has a bad taste in their mouth regarding marriage. What? It's almost like being with somebody and you really love that person. They love you, but they don't want to have a kid. You want to have a kid. That's a big deal. And I'm feeling like this person does kind of love you. They, maybe you two been even living together, playing house. And you talked about going all the way last year, last summer. But every time you bring it up currently, because you did, it hasn't happened yet. You thought they were open and receptive. Some of you could have even gotten the ring. But you're just having difficulty getting them to the altar. Right? It's like the, getting them to take that leap of faith to start this new cycle. Hmm. I would say, you know, this month, April, give it a break. Next month is another month. The energy will be different and, and more conducive to you moving forward. Because right now during Mercury grade, retrograde, it's an uphill battle. I'll tell you that. So now is definitely not the time. But know that these fears and doubts and anxiety, it stems from the past. And it's still very much in the current. And that's what's stopping them from making plans, being active, taking action. But I do see Jupiter in action. Somebody will be inspired to take a risk, a leap of faith. Right now, they know that they're being asked to take a leap of faith, but they're not moving. Mm -mm. And there's all this confusion. That's all this energy of April in play. Mm. But after, I would say after April 20th, expansion, growth, movement resumes. You can pursue to find out what this is all about. What is that all about? Spirit, fears, illusions, doubts. Why does somebody get feel this way when it comes to marriage? Why? Mm. Oh, didn't I tell you that? Yeah, this is like somebody who had a past relationship that didn't work out. Matter of fact, they loved that person. Whoever they divorced... There was real love at one time. It also could have been this person who made the decision to walk away. It can also be that someone died. Why do I say that? This person's in like a tomb. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person is, they can't get it out of their head. Whatever caused this to end, oof, it is still very much has a grip on them. Mm. I said, what was this fear and illusions? Three of Cups, clearly. And that's what I was feeling. Okay. So what do you recommend? What do you recommend for Capricorn in this situation? Focus on you right now, making yourself happy. Because this is making you crazy a little bit. And, you know, unless you go to therapy, that may be the answer. And maybe they need it because, you know what, this is herd energy. Of course, when, you know, you get a divorce... <laughs> Three of Cups, things not working out. Your love dies. You're really sad. Yeah. Focus on you. The Nine of Cups is all about your happiness. And you know, if this person is unwilling to deal with this issue, you deserve love. Not to deal with somebody who's trapped in a divorce that didn't work out, where they drew swords. All of that energy is current. And 
No, they're not inclined to tie the knot again. Mm. Yeah. Prince of Pentacles. So yeah, this was in the summer of last year. You guys talked about establishing a foundation, Prince of Pentacles, a family. You are each other's wish fulfillment. But, you know, so many times we have mental health issues, not healing from the past, the ex-lover, not talking about it, just talking it away. And then when the same energy presents itself again, we still don't know how to deal with it. We're not ready to deal with it. We don't want to deal with it. Hmm. It's the truth. That's what I just said. It's the truth. Yeah, you you need clarity. You deserve love. And a lot of times with love, not a lot of times, all the time, it's about us doing ultimately what is the best thing for us. If you want to get married and they don't, then you're wasting your time. I don't care how much you really care about them. Just like if you want to have a baby and they don't, then that's not the right person for you. You deserve more. This is all about you getting what you deserve. That's what I'm hearing. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more for Capricorn. And sometimes we have to choose what is best for us. We all need to do that. Otherwise, you have serious resentment. You know, and they get on your nerves and you're bitter, you're angry, and that's all the energy you're trying to release. You don't need to be around that. Absolutely. This new moon on the 8th, that may be, you know, April, the majority of the energy is about releasing, letting go. This is like calling a spade a spade. Whatever it is, it is. You can't change this. You know, the counseling and talking about it. And yes, that past hurt from a divorce. <laughs> no. So, you know, you're reminded right now that it's possibility to start over, create a new phase. Or after the retrograde, you can rekindle and start new conversations to see if you can change their mind, move them from this energy. And it's possible, but it's not probable. Because this clearly, you may get them to the altar and to marry you. But remember, marriage is not about that one day. <laughs> Where everything is all happiness and bells and everybody's there operating on their best foot. This is still going to be there. Even if you do get them to the altar. How are you going to deal with that? Yeah, You can't be sweeping stuff under the rug. This is a time where somebody has come into your relationship with some baggage. <clears throat> this person could have been the one that even started conversation about marriage and you're scared because of the past, of what you've experienced. Mm. I definitely feel that the time to resume conversations is after the new moon, after, yeah. Definitely. And then make a decision by the full moon in Libra, right? Mm -hmm. Doing what's best for you. Also, you got to talk. Meeting and talking is going to solve this. Maybe you can convince them to talk with somebody. It's very freeing. It's elevating. Even if they talk with friends. And family that they trust. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. What else, spirit? Mm. 
Mm. I do see it coming into union, though. They do love you, didn't I? I was feeling that. See, this is when people come into their relationship with the past baggage. And sometimes that baggage is heavy, especially when it deals with love. You know, love is not something that is fair weather. Marriage is not something that's about that first day. It's about every day after. And when the weather is not fair, being supportive, it's a very hard relationship. It's one of the hardest relationships. That's why it's God's law. <laughs> You know, his law governs that. That's his thing, man, for man and woman. For anybody that has that higher self and need for true love, you have that. So for some of you, I see, you know, this person not being willing to really go further. They talk about it, but their actions are keeping them stationary. And so you could very well decide to do something new under the new moon energy. Mm -hmm. After talking to people, but you know you deserve more. You've been waiting for a long time. Your happiness, what you want, it matters. And you're being told to seek whatever is best for you with the aid of swords. You see it. You know it, right? This is about a higher commitment. I don't know if you will be able to change this person. and But not only get them to marry you but to heal this whatever caused this mm. okay spirit I do know you deserve love and this is what you want this is what you want you know and sometimes the wedding mm -mm, that doesn't marriage mm -mm. because if you're married but you're not committed what do you have what do you have if there is no commitment? I'm just saying. Mm -mm. There, then there is no partnership. So it's not just about, you know, the wedding. It's about the commitment. And you may have a decision. Do you deserve more of a commitment? Do they deserve more of your commitment? I don't know how this is going. But know that on the 8th this month, something can happen suddenly. Maybe I hear some of y'all are praying and God answers prayer. That's why we pray at the end of every reading. But something happens suddenly. Some of you are surprised by what happened. Some of you have an epiphany. Mm. Change is definitely in the air this month. But, you know, when change occurs, it usually takes a few days for you to see the impact. Ooh. Right? To really survey, what does this change mean to me, to us, to our love, to our marriage, to our commitment? Okay. What else, spirit? Yeah. Talking. A lot of cards of talking, and, and that's what I said, you know, letting this out through conversation, um, meeting and talking. That's the best thing that you can do, like even get them to communicate with a best friend, somebody they value their opinion, or call somebody you don't even know, like better help. Um, you can even talk on the phone. Zoom. Mm -hmm. And you'll get an objective opinion. Because some of you, if this is you, you don't want to miss out on love. Some of you are with someone you love. And this is bringing things to a climax. A lot of climatic energy. 
this April. Capricorn. All right. Spirit. Let me see how much time I got. Ooh, I've just been running my mouth. Tell me, what is the final angel numbers and recommendation? Summing this up for Capricorn Collective Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah, someone, one wants to get married and someone has cold feet. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Time to take action. Right. And you know why? Because, like I said, if they really have this much apprehension, anxiety, and are unable to reconcile their feelings towards marriage so that they don't lose you, then... You're being told to take action. Whoever wants to get married, but somebody's dragging their feet, you're being told to take action. Start a new beginning. Remain hopeful. There's a fresh start. Maybe your life style is supposed to change. You have a different purpose. Spiritually, you're being awakened to the fact that Maybe this is not the one. This is a call to action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance, right? So, you know, I do recommend, because this is such a tender, serious subject, that you kind of wait till after retrograde. That's my only thing. But be prepared to take some action. Because you don't want to waste your time with something that's not going the way you're going, right? You guys aren't going in the same direction. You don't have the same goals and objectives. You do have good times ahead, 24-24. Some of you need to rest. You know, you work too hard. You're a hard worker. And maybe you should plan a trip, travel, go on holiday, do something that pleasures you. Yeah, you can be all business and no play. Spirit saying, let your hair down. Others of you, you do deserve love, but you're being told to be a little more affectionate, show some kindness. And lift that vibration. Be happy. Yeah, go and have some fun. Good times. You know, so many people don't know how to have fun. They don't. They don't even know what makes them happy. Well, you're being told to find out in April. You are worthy of affection, leisure, and pleasure. If you tell your family and friends how you feel, you'll find that you're all you are all on the same page and can work together effectively. Yes, you have two cards of that. Opening up and talking about this situation, this fear. That's how it subsides. When you shine a light on it, it dims and the light takes over. That's what spirit is saying. And that's what we all got to do. Whatever we fear, whatever there's doubt we have to shine a light on it. We can't, you know, keep it tucked away because then at some point it's going to rear its head again, like now. Yeah, you're worthy of love. Don't lose it. You'll find that you're all on the same page and you can work together. Many people are rooting for you. If you spread love, it will always find its way back to you. Multiplied, Capricorn. Right. Yeah, you know, no matter what's going on with this person who has the fear, if you come at everything from your higher self in love, things will work out in love. It will find its way back to you. Multiplied. 
that's what I got for you today, Capricorn. If you were able to identify with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. You can put 2424 in the comics or comments or 1011. Or you can just put something else. If you would like to tell me something else, I would appreciate it. I love your comments. All right. I'm praying for this whole situation to work out in your favor, Capricorn, because you do deserve love. You do. And I don't know whether you're the one with the fear or you're the one asking for somebody's hand and they are fearful, but I'm just praying that you guys are able to talk to somebody, shine a light on this situation and resolve it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for hanging out to the end. Namaste.